So welcome back, everybody. I am here with Sherry from Georgia. So Sherry, go ahead and introduce yourself to us and let us know why you decided to become a dietitian and what inspired you. Oh, sure. So hi, everybody. I'm Sherry Coleman Collins, registered dietitian nutritionist. And I'm in the Atlanta area, and um, I became a dietitian because I loved food and nutrition, and I was working in um, a totally different area. I was working for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation doing event planning, and I met a dietitian who worked at the CF Center, and I was so intrigued by the whole idea of using nutrition to control such a devastating disease, but just the, the incredible impact that nutrition had on actually managing this chronic condition. And it changed my whole view of food and nutrition. And, and I realized how powerful it was. And I wanted to be part of that. So I went back to school. And five years later, I had my master's. I had my bachelor's and my master's and my registration and was done with my internship. Very cool. Yeah, that's really interesting then that it was just kind of this encounter that triggered you to kind of changing your career completely. Yeah, it really, it was, um, I don't know if it was providence or serendipity, but either way, it was um, definitely a life changing kind of, and I had to think about it. It wasn't like I met the person in the next day I did it. I took some time to think about it. And it was really funny because I went and I met with the local, I, I went to Georgia State University and I met with the director of the program at that time. And she was really funny because she, I told her my story and kind of where I was and what I had done in the past and my education. And she said, she took a deep breath and she was like, <sighs> Well, it's going to take you a long time. <laughs> I was like, is that supposed to be encouraging or discouraging? But fortunately for me, I don't get discouraged easily. And I jumped in and um, yeah, five years later, I was ready to go. Yeah, 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 no, for sure. It definitely is a time commitment, just getting, going through all the steps and getting to the point where you are credentialed. But yeah, um, yeah for any students or interns out there, it takes some tenacity, but I would say that we would say it's worth it. Oh yeah, uh, unquestionably. I've, I've never, since I started school um, to this day, I've never regretted it. I've never questioned it. Um, and it was funny because at the time I was, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm going to be 30 and I'm going to be 30 when I'm finished and I'm going to be so old and I'm going to be in class with all these young girls. And, um, and my friend, when my friend said to me, Sherry, you're going to be 30 anyway. And I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> at least I'll be doing what I want to do. And so, so yeah, I've never regretted it. And I love being a dietitian. I've done a lot of different things and it's been, it's been a fun, wild ride. I love that. Yeah. So on the lines of all the things that you've done, can you tell us about what you've done throughout your career and yeah. any projects and jobs that you've held? Yeah, so um, I've done a lot of different things, but I started my career in pediatrics. So I had been working um, while I was in school. I was a, a diet tech at our um, Children's Health Care of Atlanta. So I worked there, and when I finished, I got a job right away in pediatrics, and I loved that job. I really enjoyed um, the clinical aspect. Working with peds, you know, working with kids was a lot of fun and um, challenging, and I used everything that I had learned, and I learned so much more. I think that um, there are some people who argue about whether or not dietitians should do clinical right out of school, and I mean, I think that there's some yes and no. I mean, I think there are benefits to doing it, and, and then some people don't need to do it, but for for me, it was a great experience because I was able to synthesize everything I had learned and start to really use that and, again, sort of understanding and seeing the power of nutrition. So that was my first job. And then, um, and then I, worked at, um, I worked in school nutrition. So I went to work at a, a large, third largest school district in the metro area um, and did school nutrition for almost five years. And I really loved that job um, also and enjoyed working with the students and um, creating menus and finding new foods and products and doing nutrition education and also doing a lot of management things. So training our staff and teaching them about health and nutrition, teaching them about cooking. And, and I love to cook. So for me, working in the food service world was another way for me to really dig into the culinary aspects of nutrition and food. And I think sometimes we can get a little separated from food as dietitians, especially working in clinical. And it's really important for us to maintain that sort of deep connection between nutrients and food because people don't eat nutrients as we all know they eat food so that school nutrition job really helped me do that and also taught me a lot about managing people because I hadn't really <laughs> I hadn't really done that before that job and there are definitely challenges to that but it's also fun and, and it's it's 
I think it's a good job for people who enjoy managing people because you do a lot of that in school nutrition. So after that, um, I, I went to work for the National Peanut Board working in nutrition communications and um, worked for them uh, for several years and then had a baby and decided I needed a little bit more flexibility in my life and I um, went to consulting in private practice. So now I have a nutrition communications private practice where I do all kinds of things and I do freelance writing and I do some, a little bit of counseling, not a lot because I don't have a lot of time. I still want to be mom first of all um, and I still work with the National Peanut board and do nutrition consulting communications for them and yeah and on top of all of that I've done a lot of volunteer work with the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics both at the national level at the state level and at the district level so I've stayed busy yeah I love that um, you, it sounds like you've really been able to kind of have your hands in kind of the, the big three of you know of nutrition yeah. so clinical and food service and some like communications and community public health type of work yeah. yeah I have and I think that you know in that that is the great thing I think the thing that I love the most about nutrition and careers as a dietitian is that um, you can do so many different things and I always tell people if you hate your job and you're a dietitian it's your own fault because <laughs> there are too many opportunities out there for you to be unhappy in a job yeah, no, I think that's totally true. So um, what excites you most then about your work in nutrition? Well, I mean, I think that there are lots of things that excite me, um, but I think the, the thing that probably excites me the most, and, and maybe this comes through as I tell my story, is that I really consider myself a lifelong learner. I love to learn new things, and I think in nutrition and as a dietitian, it's our job to know new things, right? I mean, we are constantly being asked about the latest in science and nutrition science is still really young. So there's so much to know and it's constantly changing. So I think as a dietitian, you know, the thing that I love the most is just being able to learn new things and, um, and, and things I, I really had no idea about. And my area of expertise now has evolved into food allergies. So food allergies is an, an area where there's so much new science and things are changing and evolving and it's, it's sort of an intersection between like really deep immunology and clinical work and, and food and nutrition. And so I'm always learning something new. I think that's what keeps me the most excited. Oh yeah, no, definitely. There's, um, like you said, it's nutrition really is a young science. And so there's new things coming out every day and there's yeah. new fad diets every day and <laughs> all kinds of things. Yeah. <laughs> all kinds of things and questions just because you know, nutrition is such an integral part of, of life. Right. Uh, Everybody eats. Yes, <laughs> yep. definitely. Cool. Well, if somebody is thinking about becoming a dietitian, can you give us like your first line of advice that you would have for them? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that if somebody's really interested, they should go for it because I think it's a great career path. As I mentioned, I mean, I think there's so many different things that you can do. So having a degree in nutrition, in um, whether it's in sort of the over general nutrition or in um, human nutrition or in clinical nutrition or even in food service with a concentration in nutrition, those those kinds of degrees are very flexible degrees. And they, and I think that that's a good thing. You know, the, the world can be a little uncertain and, you know, you can't be guaranteed a job in any area, um, no matter what your degree is in. But I think if you love food and you love nutrition and you like people, it's a great, I think it's a great degree. So, yeah, so I, I think that, you know, it's just kind of have an idea of what you're most interested in. Try to find a, a program that caters to that specific area. So if you're most interested in culinary or food service, Maybe try to find one that has that focus because you wouldn't want to be stuck in a clinical only program if your real interest is in food and, and sort of food service. Yeah, definitely. Definitely really good advice. Cool. So um, if we're wanting to connect with you more, tell us about where we can find you and then any other projects or things you want us to know about. Yeah, so I'm easy to find everywhere. Um, Dietitian Sherry, so D-I-E-T-I-T-I-A-N, Sherry, S-H-E-R-R-Y. And you can find me on Facebook, and you can find me on Instagram, and you can find me on Twitter um, under, all of, under that handle for all of those. And then um, my company is called Southern Fried Nutrition Services. So you can find me on the web at southernfriednutrition.com. And my latest project is uh, a podcast. 
So I just started a podcast and the, the name of the podcast is Southern Fried Girlfriends. So you can find that on iTunes or anywhere you listen to podcasts. It's through SoundCloud. So you can find it that way too. And you can also find links on my website. And that has been big fun. I'm doing the podcast with a girlfriend of mine who's not a dietitian. She's not a health professional at all, but she's somebody who's really interested and passionate about food and nutrition. And we interview other dietitians or other health professionals, or we do some topics of our own. And not all of them are about nutrition. Um, my latest one's about food allergies, but we also talk about things like, um, like stress management and yoga. And we're talking about all things health and wellness. So that's a passion project. that has been a lot of fun. So I'm not hard to find. And for students, if they have questions, I'm, you know, happy, I'm always happy to answer questions. And if you shoot me an email. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. And we'll have that all linked down below for you guys. So you can go check her out and get connected. Great. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Sherry, for joining us today. It was a pleasure to talk with you. Thanks, Amy. It's great to meet you. Yeah. We will see you guys next week then. Next week on Dial a Dietitian. I live in Barcelona. And so what interested me first and what inspired me to be a dietitian definitely is rooted in the Mediterranean. So although I had an undergrad, I had studied communications. There wasn't an option at my school for dietetics. I had the opportunity my junior year to...